Previously on Life in the Dash. We uh, got home from dinner last night and discovered that the trailer was full of smoke. We'd had a fire where that appears to have started uh, where the 30 amp connection comes into the trailer. Colorado as you can see it's snowing so we're gonna shoot this pretty quickly it's pretty cold out here but a lot of you have been asking to see our new rig so we're gonna give you a little tour of the inside so follow me okay. inside our beautiful new home welcome to our new abode um, as you can see it's a tad bit bigger than our last one uh, the off-roading portion of our trip is pretty much over and so we decided we were going to go for comfort we have over here this is uh we've been reduced to a queen bed we had a king bed in the other one um this is a queen but it is not bothering us at all we seem to do just fine with this um we have our little area we have tons of storage but yeah there's large storage closets in here um, with it being winter, we have, of course, our ski coats and ski gear hanging everywhere. There's a drawer here. We kind of have a little nightstand area here. Uh, what's really fun, can't really see it from here, but back behind the cabinets, there's a little space behind each one. And I think it's really cool what they did with this. They actually made a little nightstand area there so we could tuck our books in there, our drinks, phones, that sort of thing um, that we want to charge. And then we have course a little more storage up top on both sides so tons of storage we don't really even know what to do with it all um, we also if you lift up the bed we have a good amount of storage under the bed as well Set that down. and I have to say I have been very impressed with the space and how it works and how it's laid out someone put a lot of thought into where everything would go as you're actually living in this so that's been really nice um, as you can see underneath we have four people living in a trailer and you have a lot of shoes and so we've just used that space right there we have two boot trays there and we can put our snowy wet boots on that it catches the water keeps our floor clean here I am in my favorite part of the whole trailer. This has been such a luxury for me. Um, but as you can see, well, we have our TV up here and it's really cool. There's storage behind here. So we were able to put the electronics and things that James wanted to bring. They have a home, but I love it. There's so much counter space here and it's just been wonderful to be able to cook and, and be able to set stuff. And then we have the bar. I don't know if you can get this, but we have the bar with the bar stools here we didn't know if we would use these bar stools but we actually have we would have sometimes somebody sits up here to do school work somebody is at the booth that i'll show you in a minute um so and we've had kids that will eat up here sometimes so we've actually kept the bar stools and we're glad we did we actually do use those them so coming back around into the kitchen um, as i said tons of counter space a huge sink um, just awesome. I have tons of room to wash dishes, that sort of thing. And I just love all the story. It was just a place for everything. I have three of these drawers. So for utensils and, um, you know, saran wrap, that sort of thing. Plenty of food storage up here. I have food stored in several different places. We have that. Um, we have more food storage here under the sink and just, um, the dog food gets to be inside now, which is a real treat for Jim. He doesn't have to go out in the snow every morning to get food for the dog. Um, and then under here, I have my combination microwave, oven, convection oven, and air fryer. It does all three things. And um, it's taken me a bit to 
play with that, learn how to use it, but we've used all three of those and it's worked great. We can bake brownies, we can, you know, make french fries, whatever we wanna do in the air fryer. And it's just been great. So I'm able to actually bake things now that I couldn't in the other trailer. We had the little oven outside we could put together on nice days, but this is just kind of every night I can use the oven and bake something. I have a fan, an exhaust fan and a light here. And of course my two burner stove. So lots of room for cooking. Uh, this over here, I love this part as well. We kind of made this. Uh, well, first of all, we needed storage for when you homeschool, you have lots of school books and things. So we have all of our school books under there and they're easily accessible. Um, and the other train that we were kind of having to pull some things out to get to them. And this just made them very accessible and very easy. And then up top, I just turned this into a little coffee bar and a shake bar. I like to have a shake for breakfast in the mornings. And Jim always has coffee. So we have everything we need right here. We have a little workspace right here. I can easily grab things out of the fridge that I need for my shakes. And it's just been a great, great little spot. So to start our morning. And one of my other favorite parts of this trailer is I actually have a regular indoor refrigerator. Well, it's an RV refrigerator, but it's totally, I can just get in just like I would in my residence, get things out without having to dig everything out. And it's inside, it's warm, it's not snowing on my head. So that's a beautiful thing. Um, and of course the freezer on the top, our awesome fridge freezer there. And then what's really great is we actually have a booth in this. This is more of your road going trailer. Like I said, we kind of went for a little bit of luxury for the second part, but we have a nice booth here. So all four of us can sit here and eat dinner at night, which is really awesome. Um, and the kids do their schoolwork here a lot. So it just gives them a table and a place to sit and do their work. And then Jim and I can still be in other places in the trailer. So we all have a little personal space, a little place to work. Um, it's great. We have, I use this for more food storage. Um, and then as you can see over here, I've got plates and dishes and things um, that I need for cooking stored there. Uh, I won't take this out and show you, but there is actually storage under both of these benches. So there's quite a bit. You take the cushions off, lift up the lid. And so we can store quite a bit of stuff under there as well, which has been really nice. And even the sweet dog. Piper has a place, yeah. So we put her bed under there. Um, during the day, often she's in our bed, cuddling with us, but because it's smaller at night, she she goes under there and she has a nice cozy place to sleep. All right, so here we are now. We have the kids area, their bunks, and you can see we have two bunks back here. And this has been a really great change for us. Um, in the other trailer we had, the bottom bunk was fairly large with plenty of room. The top bunk was not. It was a very small, um, and Ella lived up there for the last six months, um, her choice. She was given a choice, but now they each have the same size bunk and they're good full size bunks. You can see Ella can actually sit up in her bunk and, um, yeah, can decorate it. They can have their own space and we put some, uh, nettings, some, a couple of storage nets in there so they can keep their stuff in and organize their their things and have their own space. James sleeps on the top and um, not quite as much headroom but still plenty and still plenty big. He has a window here. Um, the bottom bunk does not have that but it does have a hatch that will open in nice weather um, that we could open up. And then for part of their space, scoot around here, but they have a ton of storage. In the other trailer they had storage but what we realized when we started living in it and we had to take our boots off and put them there and we had to have a cooler there, we had to put things in front of their cabinets and it was very hard for them to access their clothes. And so this has been nice. This is actually, I think, designed to be part of the pantry for the kitchen, but um, we gave each, each kiddo their own cabinet here so they can easily access their clothes and they have lots of room for everything. So this has been a really nice change. And then we have um, a nice preparing in here, our bathroom. As you can see, 
We have lots of storage in this bathroom. Now we did love our other bathroom in the other trailer. It was actually quite roomy. Um, and so this is, well, we're not gonna complain or we're not gonna give up the storage space, but, um, but it wasn't as much of a change as some of the other areas. You can see we have a little storage behind the mirror there in the medicine cabinet. Um, backlit mirror, which Ella really enjoys for doing her makeup. We do have a little bit of counter space in this trailer that we didn't have in the other. So that's really nice. And we have a little bit more storage under the sink. What's great about this is the extra storage that we have over here in this little bar area. And I'll show you in a minute. I have a little bit more storage over here too. Actually, you can see it there with the tower and it's really deep. So the nice thing is things we don't get to very often, we can put way back in the back, have a place to store it, but then things we, we need often can be up at the front. And it rides fine. I wondered how that would be, but it seems to be fine. We have our shower and uh, it's funny, the shower seems a little tight just compared to the last one because the last one was a wet bath. So it was the shower, the toilet, the sink, everything in one. So the space was actually roomy. Um, but the nice thing about this is that you can take a shower and then you can step out into the dry part here to dress um, without getting your PJs wet and all that sort of thing. So it's a pretty cool space and we've really enjoyed it. Terry's giving you a bit of a tour of the trailer. I'm going to talk for just a minute about some of the features that the trailer has as well as some of the technical specifications. So I'll get that stuff out of the way first. This is the Ember 22 ETS. Uh, it is a 27 foot long trailer with a gross weight of about 6,600 pounds, which is not a problem for the Grand Cherokee to tow. We're rated up to 7,600 pounds. The challenge is it does have a larger footprint moving through the air, so we have lost some fuel economy. We went from about 12 miles per gallon with the other trailer to about 8 miles per gallon with this trailer. That's if there's no headwind. We have seen as low as 4 in the panhandle. That hurt. So um, it has uh, the fresh tank, the galley tank, and the black tank. Uh, the fresh tank holds about 55, 55 gallons of water, and uh, the other two tanks have proven to be more than, than enough for us. So that's been really nice. This is our first time to have a black tank on a trailer. So there's still some getting used to there, but it's actually been really nice not having to empty the cassette of the toilet. That's been a perk. So um, there is multiple storage areas within the trailer. There's a huge storage area up front where we can keep great big items like skis. That's been fantastic because now they don't have to stay on top of the car all the time. And then under the bunks is also a very large storage area that I can access from two different places. One on the passenger side rear of the trailer and another from the very back, depending on what it is I'm trying to get to. And that's proven to be really handy also. So we've enjoyed that. So that's really the trailer in a nutshell. Um, as far as some of the features that we have really enjoyed inside, we'll start off with the control panel right here. Not only can everything from the trailer be monitored and controlled right here, but there is also an app on our phones that we can use that allow us to pull the slide in and out, do the awning in and out, turn on the water pump, lights, monitor the tanks. I can even monitor the propane tanks using some sensors that I've put on those using that same app. So that's been really nice. We love the fact that we can dim the lights inside the trailer just using this switch right here and taking it up and down. And that allows at night for us to not have such a bright uh, light going on in here. There are some other really well thought out features also. There are accent lights so that if all of the other lights are off, it turns on just some dull yellow lights that allow you to move through the trailer when it's dark without turning on the lights and blinding everyone. So that's been a really fantastic thought that we've enjoyed right there. This trailer is also equipped with a propane burning furnace and we're loving the fact that we can heat the inside. It's ducted so there are vents scattered throughout the trailer. Additionally, it ducts air down into the lower compartment where all of the pipes run. So the water pump, 
the hot water heater, all of our water lines are being heated when the furnace runs and that helps protect those pipes during the colder days. And that's going to be interesting because I believe the low tomorrow is six. We've seen 18 and didn't even notice anything. We had no trouble keeping ourselves warm. We've had no trouble keeping the systems within the trailer warm. Six will be a new test, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, the other controller that you see right here is for one of the max air vents. We have a vent at the front of the trailer that you can just push the button. It automatically opens up. Uh, it starts spinning the, the fan to either draw air out of the trailer or push air into the trailer, and we can use that in conjunction with another vent that's in the bathroom to create a bit of a wind tunnel through here to, to cool the trailer. Um, and so that's been really handy as well. It also has a rain sensor, so should you forget that your vent is open, if it senses con uh, precipitation, then it will automatically close itself down. So uh, that's been a super handy feature also. From a winter camping standpoint, I've been very happy with this trailer. About three nights ago on February the 10th, we had seven hours below seven degrees Fahrenheit. And the only thing we lost was water flow to the kitchen sink. The toilet still ran just as it was supposed to. The kitchen, the bathroom sink still ran correctly. The tanks were not frozen. It was just that one water line. From a condensation standpoint, it has an 18,000 BTU AC that has a dry mode where it acts as a dehumidifier. That's been a mighty fine thing because we have seen condensation build up inside this trailer just as we have with our other trailer. And when we put it in dry mode, that makes a significant difference in keeping that moisture from condensing on the walls and windows of the trailer. So from a winter standpoint, it's done an excellent job. Been very happy with that. I'll mention also that the where the black tank and galley tank would uh, be drained, that area froze as well. That's on me. I wrapped it with heat tape before we left and I hadn't bothered to plug it in because I hadn't been using that so I didn't figure there was any moisture in there that would freeze. That was a little short-sighted since obviously there was moisture right up to where the valves are. Uh, once I turned on that system, uh, it heated within about, I don't know, 30 minutes and then that was fine as well. So it's done an excellent job. So that is our new home for the next five months. We uh, had a bit of a catastrophe <laughs> and leaves you scratching your head going, what do we do now? But we went home, family took wonderful care of us. We got to visit with a lot of family and uh, we have this beautiful new trailer to try the second half with. So at the end of the trip, we'll let you know, we'll do a kind of a comparison of yeah. the two and what we think, because there are things this trailer can't do right. with places that this trailer cannot go. Um, so we'll see how that is, but it'll be interesting to do a comparison of the two. But so far, uh, we're loving it. We love having the space. Yes. And um, we just love that it is more like a home. And I think we were all needing that after camping, basically, for six months. Right. So. And that's exactly what we were doing. We were camping, and this has, this has created a living space for us for the next five months. So from here, uh, we'll be traveling all up through the Northeast. We'll be headed up to Nova Scotia, Labrador, Newfoundland, down the East Coast. We're looking forward to the Florida Keys. That trail, as Terry said earlier, is that's really going to be about being on the road. And uh, this trailer should be perfect for that. So we're excited to uh, go explore in our new home and we're excited to show it to you as we go so make sure you follow along we've got we've got some really fun stuff coming up ready all right